volcano surfing is a sport in which an individual rides down an active volcano at speeds up to 50 miles per hour using nothing but a wooden board. When I first heard about this activity, I thought to myself, it must be nice to feel so safe you have to think of new ways to put yourself in danger. <laughs> now, when the body thinks it may be swallowing its last breath, the adrenal gland releases hormones into the blood. The skin becomes a cocktail of sweat and fear. The heart becomes claustrophobic. It pounds against the chest like it needs to see what's on the other side. The lungs become two newlyweds holding hands in a crashing airplane. This is called an adrenaline rush. I was 18 when I started driving. I was 18 the first time I was pulled over. 2 a.m. on a Saturday. The officer, he spills his lights all over my rearview mirror. He splashed out of his car with his hand already on his weapon, looked at me the way a tsunami looks at a beach house, and I can tell he's the kind of man who brings a gun to a food fight. He called me son, and I thought to myself, that's an interesting way of pronouncing boy. He asked for my license, registration, wants to know what I'm doing in this neighborhood, if I have any drugs, if the car is stolen, and most days I can grab my voice and swing it like a hammer, but instead I picked it up like a shard of glass scared of what might happen if I didn't hold on to it carefully because I know, because I know that a smart mouse, this much melanin, that uniform is a plot line to a film that can easily end with a chalk outline baptism. Me, me trying to make a body bag look stylish for the camera and becoming the newest coat in a closet full of RIP hashtags once. Once a friend of a friend asked me why there weren't more black people in the X Games and I said, you don't get it. Being black is one of the most extreme sports in America. Look, look, we don't need to invent new ways of risking our lives. The old ones have been working for decades. See Jim Crow, see Jim Crow, Jim Crow may have left the nest, but our streets are still covered in its feathers. Being black in America is knowing there's a thin line between a traffic stop and the cemetery. It's the way, it's the way my body tenses whenever I hear a police siren in a song. It's the way my stomach quivers whenever there's a police officer behind me. It's the sigh of relief when I turn right and he doesn't hell. I don't need to go volcano surfing. I have an adrenaline rush every time a police officer drives past without pulling me over. And I realize that I'm gonna make it home safe. Well, tonight. <laughs>